Let's freaking do this. How hard can it be? Alrighty, hey friends, welcome back to the weekly vlog. We are continuing our barrage of random stuff happening because this week is audiobook recording week. So Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, all day, I am booked to be in the audiobook recording studio. Never been there before, it's gonna be fun. And we've packed a bunch of camera gear because we also want to film the audiobook process from multiple angles. So we want a landscape version and we also want a vertical version filmed with proper cameras and proper lenses so that in the future, if we can sync it all up to the actual audiobook, then it means we can use those clips on the YouTube channel and on socials and all this kind of stuff. So it's gonna be a bit of a faff to get all that set up. I have no idea what the shooting conditions in the studio are gonna be like, but we've got enough cameras, tripods, and lenses to hopefully cover all, uh, all bases. That's the plan for this week. It's audiobook recording week, and let's head over to the studio right now. looking forward to? I am most looking forward to reading my book out loud for the next three days in a row. And hearing the sound of your own voice? I love the sound of my own voice. It's actually great. Hello. Hi. How's it going? You're Not right? bad. Huh? Not bad. I'm good at face. Yeah, very good. Nice. What was your name? I'm Ali. It's not maybe not the brightest or, no, that's or all the good. widest we'll space. Figure it out. Yeah, okay, cool. Lovely. Can we just uh, set up yeah, cameras and make yourself at home? Um, so can I get anyone a tea or coffee? Um, the coffee would be lovely. Yeah, just okay. let me take it. Uh, black with milk, please. Oh, well, so white. So white. So white. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, it says soundproofy. Nice. Okay, this is fun. All right. Let's freaking do this. How hard can it be? In September tw whoops. I have no research. I was a newly qualified junior doctor, and three weeks previously, I'd made a rookie error, forgetting to fill out a form to request the holidays off. Now, here I was, managing a hospital ward on my own on Christmas Day. Um, yeah. I, I think I think we're gonna be fine. Right. Yeah. Wherever you can. You see a sentence coming up where you could do it differently. Just yeah. give it a different a different melody, and um, I think you're doing great. Yeah, it's nice. It's got a good, uh, it's got a TED Talk feel to it. I love it. <laughs> uh, and for these gaps, I mean, feel free to just stop and pause, but I will be putting in some artificial silences anyway, so it doesn't matter if you need to take a breather or not. Oh, just roll. Fantastic. Okay. Okay, so we've done introduction and chapter one, which has been quite fun. It is just unfortunate that the room is quite hot and sweaty, but having Alex, the producer, in my ears is really nice. He's catching up, uh, catching any mistakes that I make, and he's just very on the ball with, I'm making so many mistakes, but it's great because he's just like being like, cool, no problem, and queuing me back to the next line. Just great vibe. Well played, Alex. Love this shit. Now we're gonna head out to grab some lunch, and then we are returning in an hour for chapter two. Spearheaded a radical shift in the way Netflix approached its staff. She got rid of traditional policies like vacation days and set work hours and performance reviews, and gave more autonomy to employees. As long as employees met their goals, they could do whatever they liked. Say when. Done. Hello. Welcome back to day two of the vlog. We are in the audiobook recording studio, and I am two thirds of the way through chapter four, chapter four of the book. And we've just had a little coffee break, a little food break, and then we're gonna bang out the rest of this chapter, which is chapter four, seek clarity. And then we're gonna talk about chapter five. And it's gonna be good vibes all around. It's quite fun. It's quite fun recording an audiobook. I didn't think it would be fun, but it's just like nice. And I'm also spotting typos and stuff as we're going through it, which is quite handy. Because yeah, I've never really read this out loud before, but. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. And we've got the rest of the day in the studio just hanging out and continuing to speak. Fun times. Everything came to a head when I dropped a tray of medical supplies, sending syringes flying across the linoleum floor. It would take me a few months, but I was stumbling my way to a revelation. I didn't have all the answers, not by a long shot. But for the first time, I could make out the beginnings of an alternative approach. Okay, you look fantastic. If you want to get up, walk out, come back in again. 
Okay, sit, sit down, put the headphones on, then wink. <laughs> but this moment of curiosity sparked a minor epiphany. Actually, I'm gonna make myself a coffee. <laughs> I'm just enjoying myself. Yeah. This, is feel, this is feel good productivity. Feel good while being productive. <laughs> Chapter 4 Seek Clarity. At 4 a.m. the following morning, the man arrives at the seashore. The young man struggles violently, but the old man holds him down, only releasing him when he's on the verge of drowning. Like, no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't break free from the cycle of putting things off and scrambling to catch up. I wasn't alone. Procrastination has plagued much greater minds than mine. Motivation clearly isn't enough, and telling people to simply feel more motivated isn't just unhelpful, it's potentially harmful, contributing to the sense of paralysis that caused procrastination in the first place. I call it the unblock method, and it's the focus of the next three chapters. We'll learn that usually procrastination is caused by negative feelings, the inverse of the feel-good energizers we encountered in part one. But at the same time, some of us are better at dealing with uncertainty than others. Psychologists and psychiatrists measure this using something called the Intolerance of Uncertainty Inventory, abbreviated IUI. Cool, so chapters four, five, and six are now done. And it's getting very hot in here, but we're doing well. We're doing well, we've got three more chapters to go and the conclusion. So we've got another hour and a half today, so I think we'll manage to do one more chapter. And then tomorrow we'll finish off the final two and do any kind of cleanups or anything like that that we need to do. So yeah, it's all happening. More than halfway there. In fact, we're two thirds of the way through. It's quite fun recording the audiobook. As I'm reading it, I'm thinking, it's actually not bad. So it's been a while since I've actually read the book because it's been a few months since like it went to typesetting and all that kind of stuff. And so as I'm reading it, it's almost like I'm reading it for the first time, almost. It's like rereading a book that someone else has written. And as I'm rereading it, I'm just like, oh, yeah, it's solid. It's pretty good. How are you feeling about reading it back? Yeah, there's a lot of moments where I'm like, oh, this point was a little bit weaker than the other point that I just read, and oh, I wouldn't have quite phrased that bullet point this way if I had my time again. But hey, you know, it's like what they say about art. It's never finished, it's just abandoned at some point. This kid gets so mummified. Alex is being there, just like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Alex has had to deal with this before. Every time he sat down to think, he just felt tired. It had begun when Feynman's wife, Arlene, died of tuberculosis in Nightfall Way. Bum, bum, bum. Alrighty, it is audiobook of day three, and we've got two chapters left to record. And as I'm speaking, I'm realizing that my voice is less. I think I might have lost a little bit of my voice, but that's fine. We'll figure it out. Two more chapters to go, and then a small conclusion. And then we're done with the audiobook. So we might even have some extra time in the day to film a bunch of other random stuff that needs filming. But we shall see. I'm on the iPad right now, trying to figure, trying to do my thousand words a day. Um, last night I had to do them from half past midnight to 1 a.m. because I had friends over. And then I was like, damn, I haven't done my thousand words. But because I'm committed to doing my thousand words a day, bang them out, so that was nice. And yeah, so far I've kept the streak going for the last like nine days in a row, which is, which is a good start. But yeah, we're heading over to the recording studio now to do the final two chapters of the audiobook. God, you love the sound of your own voice. I love the sound of my own voice through studio monitors. I need to get fancy speakers just to hear my own voice. It's gonna be fun. The Pacific Crest Trail is not for the faint of heart. Spanning 2,650 miles of mountainous terrain in the western United States. Yeah, yeah, that was great. Mm -hmm. All right, that's a wrap. We've just finished recording the audiobook, doing the acknowledgements, doing the... We hope you've enjoyed this audio production or this penguin audio product. Well, like, whatever the hell I said. Wait, what, what did I say? It's it quite funny. We hope you have enjoyed this penguin audio production of A Feel Good Productivity, written and read by me, Ali Abdal. Then I had to say, the moral rights of the author have been asserted. Thanks for listening. Yeah, it's quite fun. I get to put on my, my audiobook narrator voice. Alex, mate, thank you so much. It was a pleasure, honestly. And we'll yeah. see you for the next one. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> thank Bye. you, Alex. Yeah. Really appreciate Bye. everything. Take care. You too. Bye. Bye. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna be heading off on the travels over the next three months, mostly in the US. This is what used to be our YouTube studio. It is now completely empty.